hello everybody welcome to my channel welcome if you're a returner and welcome if you're new my name is blue this reading is about to be for Haley bailey or hallie bailey i don't know how to pronounce her first name y'all please don't come for me but i was looking up interviews for like 10 minutes straight trying to see somebody just say her name one good time and nobody would say it so i just said forget it y'all already know what i'm talking about so yeah Haley, ddg and ruby rose i just wanted to come on and do a quick little entertainment purposes only reading for these three this little trio Usually, I will give a background in the beginning of my readings, but for this, y'all, I'm not. It's just been an ongoing continuation, and you just had to be there. So if you don't know who these three are, I highly recommend that you uh, look them up, okay? Look for something. The Breakfast Club has a really good little situation, simplifier, okay, video, whatever. So I do have a list of questions here that's what's on my computer. So we're just going to kind of run down real quick. I don't want this reading to be super long, but I'm just going to ask all the general questions that I feel like people probably would want to know. And then if you guys have any additional questions, let me know in the comments and I'm definitely going to make a part two, depending on how things kind of play out. So let's just start with the nitty gritty. I'm going to get um, two cards for each of these questions. Uh, so the first question that I have is, what is the energy of DDG and Haley's relationship? Let's just see the overall energy of these two in the relationship. Ooh, child. So we have karmic coming out first between Haley and DDG or Holly and DDG. And then we also have you love me. You know what's really interesting about the fact that karmic came out first? He's a Libra and she's an Aries, which is like sister signs. I was reading something that said, you know, like when you're dating your opposite sign, most of the time it is, it's going to teach you a, les a lesson about yourself. So let's be a little messy and get some messy cards and get two cards for this as well. Uh, what is the energy between DDG and Hallie? But it definitely feels like there is love here. It's like these two might be, um, I don't want to say toxic, okay, because I don't really know these people like that. But it does seem like it's got its ups and downs, I'll say that. It might not be very um, smooth. And I mean, they're young, so that probably plays a lot into it too. But they probably get tested a lot together. So we have child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parents. What? Now, I know neither of them have children, so maybe this is kind of like what they're working to overcome with this karmic relationship maybe like someone was neglected or scared of their parent or something like that and we have family issues now listen if this is not what they're trying to overcome in this karmic relationship together this might end up being the cause of like issues further down the line in their relationship maybe someone has family problems or someone i don't know is feeling like neglected or something on one in that nature maybe someone just feels neglected period it's not even about being a child, uh, I don't know. I wonder if these two would end up having children together. Interesting, okay. Um. So let's just continue on and see the energy between DDG and Haley, Hallie. Showing the energy between these two in the relationship. I'm taking all my cards up right, y'all. I'm gonna just let you know that now. So we have the five of wands, baby. Yes, this is very karmic. These two be fighting all the time where they do a lot of arguing. Now, if you don't know a Libra and if you don't know an Aries, baby, I don't care what anybody says, how polite Libra looks and how sweet they are. These A Libra can argue, okay? A Libra is not afraid to go back and forth. Most of the time, they're going to start and they're going to finish, whatever. But an Aries is not going to take no shit neither. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of go back and forth and bicker a lot. Honestly, y'all, I'm not going to lie. And the Nine of Cups here, I feel like somebody could accuse the other person of being very selfish or being, like, self-centered as far as, like, them feeling neglected or, you know, like, oh, they never really choose me first or put me first. They don't have any time for me. Uh, what is going on? Or maybe someone feels as though, like, their family comes in between their relationship or their family is way too involved in their relationship. This is annoying for somebody. Now, you know, Haley has her um her sister, and her sister is a rider. Her sister did tweet out, her sister Chloe Bailey did tweet out that, um I forgot what she said, but she basically said something about men ain't shit, something like that. I feel like, you know, she could have been defending her sister's honor, but we do have the judgment card. I feel like somebody is going to have to make a decision in this, in this relationship for it to uh, continue on being kind of like powerful or like strong. It's like someone's going to have to make a choice on whether they want to like compromise something that is that means a lot 
to them with the nine of cups or if they're going to kind of like i don't want to say settle but you know if they're just going to back down and let somebody have it but it looks like a situation with the five of wands has been ongoing for some time they've been arguing about this this situation or how they feel for a minute and i feel like now this is kind of like make or break time like you know do i want to kind of continue on saying the same thing or do i just want to like you know call it quits let's see the five of wands let's get nosy real quick yeah see the five of wands is clarified by the two of cups somebody feels like this connection is not reciprocal or they need more i need more from this like this is not it your family is always in the in the goddamn way you don't ever have time for me you don't ever talk to me like i love you but i gotta make a judgment call now i don't know who this judgment call would be who's what's the judgment who's making a judgment call and why the queen of cups the queen of cups Haley's making this judgment call if anybody's going to leave this relationship it's going to be her but do we really already not know that <laughs> ddg ain't never leaving this girl i feel like she specifically would leave because she is unhappy or she just feels unfulfilled or she's tired of fucking fighting sorry for the for the cursing but she is she's tired of fighting she's tired of being neglected i feel like too she doesn't really care for um ddg's family i mean this could be friends as well but um yeah so anyways child um let's go ahead to the next question which is what's the energy of ddg and ruby rose's relationship oh that was an era baby when them two was together and uh i forgot what music video he had but she had like that little um bdsm outfit in the cage oh they were so cute and fire that's when he was still on youtube What's the energy between DDG and Ruby? So we have, you didn't mean it. Oh, can y'all see that? And also someone better is coming up here too. Now, I don't know why these two broke up. I really hope Haley or Hallie wasn't the cause of like, well, I'm not going to say the cause because that girl did not do nothing to Ruby. But I really hope that, you know, she didn't feel as if um, Holly came in between their relationship. I don't know why these two broke up, but whoo. All right, so let's get some messy tea here real quick. But I could definitely see DDG and uh, Haley breaking up if someone don't get their shit together and compromise. But what's going on between Ruby and DDG? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, so the first card that came out is Creativity Muncher. I just heard Big Mouth in my uh in my head. She has a song called Big Mouth. That song is so cute. But steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, and feeds off of you. Oof. And then we have Thief. Oh, wow. So you didn't mean it in this context. This feels like someone here. I don't know who, but someone feels like they only got with the other person for clout purposes or creativity purposes. It's just like, yeah, we will collab good together. You know, we could definitely make some things happen together. Um, I feel like somebody kind of came off in the energy that they actually had love for the person or that, they, or that they wanted to be with the person. But really, they just wanted to kind of like get clout off of them, steal their ideas, be creative with this person, and that's it. That's all. So really, somebody got robbed. They lost money or some type of emotional or physical attachment here was kind of like strain in this situation. It kind of feels like somebody just literally went to work with somebody, get clout off of somebody, and then they just dipped off. And then they found somebody better and then really never looked back. So somebody could still be bitter about this. But uh, let's get three cards. <laughs> let's get three cards between uh, DDG and Ruby. What's the energy in the relationship? So we have the Knight of Cups upright. Yeah, small, cute little offer. We got the King of Wands. And we have the Ace of Coins. Yeah, so it kind of feels like, uh, oh, we have the Lover's Card at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Um, with the Knight of Cups here, it does feel like somebody made a cute little small offer or something like that. And here's DDG showing up real strong with the King of Wands in the middle of the deck. 
it's like he might have sat here and kind of like um funded ruby or helped her sponsor her gave her some type of uh step up into the music industry in general or whatever gave her an offer um i do see these two being like very sexually active uh right after the lover's card is the higher font in reverse though but i feel like that's all it is it's just these two they just have really bomb sex i feel like their sex together is just really great it's just really great but really with the king of wands being in the middle here uh, uh, this doesn't feel like love <laughs> it doesn't feel like anything short of just again creativity munch and thief like somebody just literally wants to kind of hit it and quit it work together and then call it a day like after that leave me alone i feel like these two i don't know let's clarify the knight of cups because you didn't mean it is sticking out to me right now like this is like a sore thumb what's the knight of cups the will of fortune yeah as soon as somebody got something that they want their whole mo changed like real quick they might have got like real snippy real short real uh what's the king of wands this person didn't mean it the ten of pentacles yeah this could have been like ddg's energy at first like he might have actually really been infatuated with her liked her whatever the case was and then um as soon as they worked together or as soon as they kind of like um <laughs> started dealing with each other he was just like yeah uh, he went another way or he chose to do something else with his time all right so let's get real specific then since we kind of have the overall details i really want to know how ddg feels about hallie because i don't know what issues they're having with like family or kids or just because i know they both don't have kids together and they don't have p kids period but i just kind of feel like someone is um they just want more they want more so let's let's get um insight on both of these two how does ddg feel about hallie how does ddg feel about hallie Oh, now of pentacles, the page of swords. How does DDG feel about Haley, Haley, and the king of swords upright? What's the overall energy? The magician. Okay, so first and foremost, y'all, he does believe that she's beautiful, and she is, right? Very pretty, nine of pentacles, well put together. She's got stuff going on for herself. She's got her own garden, baby. She's going to bring her own garden to the table. You don't have to bring nothing. Okay, I think he likes that about her. She's very independent. Okay, page of swords. I feel like they have a really good friendship. Like, at the foundation of everything, besides their relationship, these two, they get together and they have a, a good time. They, got a, they have a ball. They might have, like, little inside jokes. It's not dull. It's not boring. With the King of Swords here coming up last, though, and the Magician, uh, uh, I don't really like that energy for a relationship. It, it, I'm not going to say it feels manipulative, and I'm not even going to bring up the fact that the King of Swords came out in reverse. Oop, did I just say that? <laughs> this feels a little manipulative. This feels a little bit like a leech. It feels a little leechy, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It feels like a little bit of uh, someone that's like clout chasing here. Give me one accurate card for how DDG feels about uh, Howley. So we have haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Now, you know what? I don't know what DDG has been through or something like that. I don't know what his childhood was like. I don't know this guy from a can of paint. But it kind of feels like, I don't know. I don't know if this clout is getting to his head or if he's just one of them people that like, he's an opportunist. But this is what it's given. This is what it's given. I feel like this guy, he's like tunnel vision. Now, don't get me wrong. He does feel like Hallie is very powerful. She's beautiful. She's got her own stuff going on. But there's no cups here. There's no cups here. I don't like that. This feels more like friend vibes than anything. You know, I feel like these two just had a good time together. They liked each other. They, you know, they did what they did. And then it turned into more, but I don't know. So what's the King of Swords? Because here's his energy. We have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> this guy 
is so nonchalant. I'm hearing him just say like, fuck it, shit happens or fuck it, let's just try it, you know? It's just like he doesn't really have a lot of intentions, but most men don't. I'm starting to realize that like men are really not intentional. We have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot. Yeah, this person, they, oof, they're on a trip. This person, they just literally want to see how far this can go. I feel like they just are intrigued by Haley. DDG is just intrigued by her. He feels like she's pretty and she's a top girl, you know, like. This is definitely about to boost his, his clout. What's the nine of pentacles? The nine of wands. I feel like too, sometimes there's almost like a, a, a scared mindset from DDG that he's not good enough for Haley. I do. I feel like that's why Haunted is coming out here. Memories, flashback, trauma, side effects. Because look at the nine of wands coming up underneath the, um, the nine of pentacles. Two nines. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe he feels too much like he's in her shadow or he feels too much like, you know, it's Hallie and DDG and not DDG and Holly. Because, you know, some men, they get like that, okay? They want to be, yeah, they they can't let their lady shine. But ultimately, I just feel like this, this DDG is thinking about how his career is going to progress from this. And that is like the basis, the foundation of like you know what he got going on or how he feels that's disheartening okay so hold on y'all let me just check to make sure okay eight percent cool 16 minutes all right i don't want this to be too long for y'all <laughs> so let's see how does ddg feel about ruby let me just shuffle three times how does ddg feel about ruby please and thank you How does DDG feel about Ruby? Wow. Wow. One more card, please. Overall energy. It's no way. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, three. I forgot I was doing a video. <laughs> Okay, so three wands, the empress, and I think um, Ruby is a Libra too, so they're two Libras, and then the ten of pentacles, with the five of wands as an overall energy, oh, he likes her, he likes her, and he thinks highly of her, the nine of pentacles compared to the empress, oh, I feel like he's waiting for the day she come back, and even if this is not necessarily as like a relationship or anything more, he thinks about this girl a lot. And I feel like he just is fascinated with her with the Ten of Pentacles. It's just like, I don't know what's making him feel like, you know, he's missing out by not being with her or being next to her. I feel like these two, they do petty stuff to each other on purpose because really they like each other. Like they like each other, like each other. They might even see a lot of signs and synchronicities when they're together or when they're thinking about each other or when they're thinking about going to go see each other. This is sickening. I got a man, but I really want yours. <laughs> Give me one card between the energy between DDG and Ruby Rose. One card for the energy between these two. Impersonator wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, copies you. Yeah, because I feel like these two got like the same MO, you know? It's kind of like they have the same type of like aesthetic. Hallie, she's very sweet, gorgeous, beautiful, talented girl, but she's very uh classy, you know? She has a lot going for herself. And even though DDG is suburban, he gives uh he hangs out with blue face for crying out loud. Like that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna sit here and tear this guy down, but these two, ooh. Mm. either they got some bomb ass sex and that's why they be fighting like they do because the sex is really great or they just miss each other and they just need to like you know get together have some fun go out like stop watching each other over social media with the three of wands stop being weird trying to figure out what the other person is doing or whatever the hell like let's clarify the ten of pentacles 
I also feel like, you know, um, I don't know what it was about like money arrangements when DDG and Ruby was to together or working together, but they might have been very generous with one another. I don't know if DDG, again, feels like he's kind of like overshadowed or threatened by the fact that Hallie has more money or something like that. But it's kind of like he misses getting he misses getting money from Ruby or he misses giving money to her or he just misses like chilling, cuddling up, having sex with her. This almost feels like, and please, y'all, I'm sorry, but I got to say it because I heard it. I'm feeling like when he has sex with Holly, he be thinking about Ruby. I do. Because look at the two of wands and the knight of cups. Ugh, I can't even see that. Look at the two of wands and the knight of cups. It's just like he's thinking about the next time he's going to get a chance to see her. He's thinking about the next time he's going to get a chance to be with her. He talks all of this hot mess but loves this girl. What's the three of wands? Y'all see the three of wands and the two of wands that came out, right? Yeah, the justice. He wants to make things right or he wants to kind of like be able to get in the yams again. He might even feel like those yams belong to him because... You know, technically, in a way, DDG did kind of put Ruby Rose on. I don't want to say that he made her because she was a very beautiful, talented girl. And she had a little bit of clout. But I just remember when uh, she was in his music video, that's when she kind of came up. Okay, so let's see. At this point, at this point, how does Haley, Holly feel about DDG? How does Holly feel about DDG? Face to face with it can't be beefing through my face, come through with all the stuff. It's like this when it's dang fun to add it. It should be like, we don't touch your face line. So we have the four swords, the hangman. Wow. And the king of coins. Aww. This is a very loyal young lady. What's the overall energy? The King of Cups. Oh, gosh. She loves him. She loves him. How old are they, though? Um, It just kind of feels like she doesn't want to give up yet. Four of Swords, the Hangman, the King of Coins, the King of Cups. It feels like she's not ready to let go. And now, mind you, that Karmic card did come out, y'all. I don't know what it is about Karmic relationships, but them Jones be feeling so good in the beginning. They be feeling so good. It just feels like, oh, my God, this is my person. And I know we be arguing, you know, but the sex is really good. And every time that we get done arguing, I feel like I'm closer to them. But the whole time, your energy is depleting, okay? You're starting to, like... <laughs> Things around the house are starting to go lacking. It's just, you know, I feel like it's one of those things where uh, she's kind of, she feels a little bit stuck. All right, show me one card for how uh, does Haley feel about DDG running. So I don't know if she feels like he's running from her or if she's running from him or something like that. Who's running here? We have low IQ at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> Let me clarify the king of coins. Maybe she sees him as very generous. We have the seven of swords. She might even kind of question his motivations um, of what he does with his money or what he does for money or where his money goes. I don't know what she thinks he's doing with his money or something like that. This could be a, co a topic of conversation. We also have the king of swords. She might be questioning his intentions too at times. You know, like, you know, do you really love me or are you just here for my money? Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups habitually is coming out. But she sees him as the King of Cups. So I don't know. It almost feels like she needs more reassurance from this guy. Uh, what's the Four of Swords here? She needs reassurance that this is just not like a, a, a fling... But we have the Justice card clarifying the, the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's kind of like, I feel like these two are kind of in a reconciliation season where they're trying to make up, okay? They're trying to do things the right way at this time. But with the Hangman, I don't know. Somebody is trying to get over something. The Chariot. Yeah, it's like somebody is trying to get over something together or... I do feel like she has love for him, though. I really do. I don't think that he feels the same way about her, per se. You know, he thinks he thinks nice things about her, but this is not his, this is not his forever person. 
this these two mm -mm. i don't i don't care for it i'm not gonna lie and i'm not trying to say that you know ddg would ever go out his way to necessarily hurt pally but um uh, uh let's just kind of clarify so since we kind of went there let's just go into the next question can hallie trust ddg can she trust him can she trust him can hallie trust ddg okay so we have the queen of cups i'm sorry the queen of coins the six of cups and the hierophant what's the overall energy the emperor uh, uh, no i mean listen i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this with the hierophant here ddg is a loyal person he's loyal don't get me wrong. As soon as they break up or go through a situation, he might be on his way over to Ruby House. I'm not going to lie. This is not the type of person that's going to wait long to keep on. You know, they're not going to sit at home eating ice cream with their feet up, watching Dear John crying their emotions out. Like, no, this person, they don't play. With the Emperor here, DDG just gives the energy like he's no bullshit. He's no nonsense, you know? Like, he doesn't really fuck around. He doesn't have a lot of time to be like... <laughs> dealing with certain shit he just feels like i don't know i just don't like the emperor energy in any love reading to be real with you because it's not a compassionate energy it's more so like a uh do as i say not what i do i'm the boss i'm the i'm the shot caller i'm here what are y'all doing here you know it's my world y'all are just living in it type of energy you know it's not she sees him as the king of cups he's coming up as the emperor you know what i mean so I don't want to say that she can't trust him because with the Six of Cups being in the middle, he's going to make sure that she's good, period. He's going to make sure that, you know, she is happy, healthy, wealthy. You know, he's not going to try to do anything to tarnish her. And in a commitment, I see him being a uh, solid. What's the Hierophant? Mind you, the Hierophant came up upright on its own. We have the Nine of Cups and the Will of Fortune. Yeah, I just feel like there is a cautionary here that these two need to be a little careful with um, being too demanding of each other <clears throat> or like trying to get their way. Like compromise might be uh, one of those things that they got to work on, like compromising. Show me the energy behind this question. Can she trust DDG? <laughs> Look at family issues coming out again. You know what's interesting? I don't even feel like if these two break up, it would be because of them. This feels like third party all the way. It feels like family is involved. It feels like exes are involved. It just feels like somebody needs to make sure that their offer is coming through uh, genuinely. And like they are focused and concentrated on making this work before they... um. Somebody here too needs to cut off their family. I'm not going to say cut them off, but like keep them out of your relationship. Stop asking for advice. Stop asking what they think. Stop asking how they feel. Who cares? Like this is about you two, you know? I feel like somebody is really trying to hammer that in. Like this is about us, nobody else, right? Um. So let's see. Did I ask how Hallie feels about DVG? I did. All right, so let's see what's coming up for these two. Let's see if we can get some predictions. Let me just check my phone because I don't want to start over. Hold on, y'all. 5%. All right, we thugging it. Um, oh, snaps. Sorry, y'all. It's okay to be so stressed and overwhelmed that you feel like... Uh, what's coming up for these two? Okay, let's see. Let's get messy when we see two. Let's use the West T cards. What's coming up between Hallie and DDG? Please and thank you. I wonder if they have a pregnancy card in here. What's coming up between Hallie and DDG? So we have spiritual hater, hates on your spirituality, light, magic, power, ignoring. And we also have thief again. So spiritual hater.
Now, you know, this is has nothing to do with spirituality. <laughs> I feel like there is somebody lurking in their energy still that is just kind of like, uh, they're hating on a relationship. Now, again, that third party warning card did come out. So I don't know if there's family or exes that's obviously hating on their relationship and trying to like break it up. But I don't know. With ignoring in the middle of the deck and thief. Mm. Let's clarify with tarot. I'm not sure if this is their energy or someone around them. I'm not sure if they're ignoring each other or if they're ignoring these haters. All right, so let's see. What's some predictions for Hallie and DDG? What's coming up in their energy? What's coming up in their energy? We have the Ten of Pentacles upright, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So I kind of see them, you know, doing a really good job of tuning out like haters and kind of uh, reconciling their relationship, definitely making the best of things and just spending time trying to like heal their relationship so that they can kind of start over or, you know, just re rejuvenate that uh, puppy love stage feeling. Ooh, Ten of Swords is the overall energy. <laughs> Now, baby, I got only two predictions from this. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Either they're going to break up within the next, like, 10 months, or I feel like whoever has been on the outside, like, chiming in, they're about to get cut real bad. Like, get out. <laughs> you are not allowed to have any uh, say in our relationship anymore. Uh, What's the 10? Uh, what's the six of wands? oh y'all this is looking like a breakup or like some type of um if not a breakup just a break like taking space from one another kind of like mm, i'm just seeing somebody like moving on here what's the page of cups the high priestess and the seven of swords Somebody around them could be having an ab abortion too. With the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups, I gotta say it. I gotta say it. I don't know who whose energy this is. I'm not gonna guess either, but I, I'm seeing an abortion and I'm seeing a breakup. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm seeing an abortion, I'm seeing a breakup. I feel like somebody feels played in the situation, like, you know, as in a future prediction, like somebody just feels like they got robbed. Like, you know, I spent all of this time here with you and you ain't even sit here and do nothing for me. You ain't even really. Mm -hmm. All right, um, let's move on. We're not going to spend too much time on that, but I'm seeing a breakup and an abortion. Um... Okay, so that's all of my questions. And we landed on 3311. 30, all right, y'all. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. This was a little long, but love y'all. Bye.